the truck sounded a little bit not as loud. We actually got to go ahead and, you know, somewhat tune the PRV crossovers up. These speakers have seen better days. If you guys can see, man, them things are about done for. Go ahead and bang this thing out and see how loud it is with everything. If you watched the previous video, you definitely heard that the truck sounded a little bit not as loud or it sounded just a little bit too funny. We're here to fix that today. We actually got to go ahead and, you know, somewhat tune the PRV crossovers that we have right there. I don't think that the tear amps need any, you know, adjusting on the settings itself. I just definitely think that the PRV crossovers need a little bit of tuning. So that PRV crossover that's over there on that side, that crossover is actually for the two tens and the two tweeters on each front door. And that one, guys, let me tell you, let me tell you guys, man, the doors are extremely loud right now. They actually sound really, really good. So I don't think we need to go ahead and mess with that. Uh, but maybe the tweeters, we do need to give them a little bit more hissing sound. But like I said, man, these things are jamming. These things are talking. I think those should be left alone. But I know this PRV crossover right here that controls everything in the back, guys, it definitely needs a little bit of tweaking because, like I said in the previous video, if you guys haven't watched it, man, go back there and watch it. It is Easter weekend this weekend, guys, and a lot of people are going to be out and about. And we definitely got to be out there with the truck. I know tomorrow night there is a, you know, like block party hangout and everybody with the stunt walls goes out there. So we actually got to go out there and hang out. But you know, man, we're going to be out there getting it just a little bit. And like I said in the previous video as well, too, I think this is the last week with the sound system setup that we got right here. The first thing that we're going to tackle in the truck for the rebuild is I want to go ahead and take the console out first and rebuild it. Uh, new control panel, maybe add two tens a uh, horn on each side and then i do want to put some tweeters on the dash itself so it'll wake it up a little bit and then i think what my plan is i want to change out all the mids that are on the doors i want to go ahead and change all the tins out on the doors for the very uh i don't know the actual model number of the prv uh but the biggest mid-range that they got that hold 2000 watts each one and i don't know if it's a neo but you know i'll insert the speaker right here and I want to go ahead and put all eight of them in there because I do want to put an 8K just on all the tens inside the cab, guys. I want this thing to really be talking whenever I open up the door. 1,000 watts, man, on just the front cab, guys. That's going to be insane just for, what's that going to be, eight, eight tens, man. It's going to be dumb, dumb loud. And then that's going to actually require a really badass tune as well, too, when we get to that point. But And then I can think about if I want to go ahead and just start taking everything out because... I'm torn between changing the subs out and putting bigger subs in there and doing like a 10K on the subs. We got the 5K right there for the 412 E-Series Sundowns that are in the blow through. But one of the biggest things that need to get done in my truck too guys is I actually need an alternator. I do got the factory alternator which is right there. Um, and I do have the big three going on. I have like grounds ran to the back. I got powers ran here. Um, man, everything's pretty good, but I do want to do two uh, in here if I do a new alternator, run that shit all the way to the back. And then I definitely need to put that extra battery in here to fill in that hole right here. A new battery will fit in there perfect. And then maybe swap out the batteries in the back. Voltage would definitely, you know, increase and stay stable uh to where the point where we're giving like really really badass demos um, and i think beating like crazy there's only so much abuse that those eu series can take um before they actually blow up and i think if we do that guys man we're definitely gonna toast those subs like 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 that if i go ahead and swap out those subs for these def bond subs that i forgot the model number but i'll insert it right here uh, I think they're 2,500 watts a piece, so that's 10,000 watts. So then definitely I can go ahead and swap out that MD5K and put that 10K in there. And man, this thing will be moving some crazy air. Guys, man, on that 5K with those 412s, man, that thing is beating like crazy. <laughs> I can only imagine what the 10K and new subs would actually do. This thing would be crazy. For some reason, if I can go ahead and do the console, add the two 10s in there, um, and change out the subs, the alternator, and new batteries, man, this thing will be ready for Cinco de Mayo and the Made of Steel show. And man, we'll give some awesome demos. We're gonna cross our fingers and hopefully we can get some stuff done. So, man, we're out there regulating and giving demos to you guys. 
get started on tuning this truck because we got a weekend of jam and man we need this thing working 1000 percent man let's get it so before i start playing with the knobs man let's go ahead and actually listen to the stunt wall one more time uh just so we can hear the difference towards the end of the video uh, I am not going to try to push a lot of mid bass out these speakers uh, just because like I don't want to force it I want my truck playing for a really really long time but once we you know get started on the new stunt wall I am going to put probably like 212s or if I can fit 215s underneath the truck firing down man that's going to create that bass that we need in the back because we do have the blow through and it only gets as loud but I feel if we got that bass pumping like crazy it's going to draw too much current to where we can just have the bass you know somewhat thumping and have the subs back here banging just a little bit um we'll get that bass that we're looking for to fill in that extra gap and then it'll sound good all the way around here and i am going to do all mrs like mid-range speakers in the back within the stunt wall and we're definitely going to probably do at least like 12 to 16 horns in the back and do all the same tweeters but man this thing is going to be loud once we actually get done with it. So let's go ahead and flip the switch. Let's turn the volume up at least like halfway. Let's turn this down all the way so we can control the way in the back. Let's set the radio up. Probably like right there, should be fine. And let's listen to it to see what it sounds like. Uh, it's three quarters of the way up. That should be fine. Too bad not too bad but let's go ahead and i like that song so we'll probably use that one to adjust because it has a little bit of bass in it but man these prvs right here we can actually turn off everything so we can individually adjust stuff as we go so let's actually restart this let's turn this up a little bit so we know which one Okay, so the two is on the plane. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna actually turn this guy three quarters of the way because I do want it pumping up pretty loud because we do want to test it at like full volume. So let's turn this down real quick. And then we are gonna test we're gonna test the 212s and the 210s, but man, let me tell you guys that these speakers have seen better days if you guys can see. Man, them things are about done for, but like I said, man, it's the last weekend, so if they go, they go. I'm not going to cry about it. Let's go ahead and put some music. Let's hit the button. Alright, let's see what it does. Okay. It has like that punchy bass. You guys hear it? It has like that punching bass. I mean, I don't want this thing to like be basing but it needs a little bit more of a mid bass let's see let's drop down the frequency so it's low pass at 4k kilohertz and the frequency it is at, at like 750 so let's actually drop the high pass down a little bit One thing that I will tell you guys from what I've learned, like having the low pass at probably like three quarters of the way up, that's going to get you more vocals. So if you have that thing at like nine kilohertz, maybe 4.5 kilohertz, uh, man, that thing is going to talk and do some mid basing. And then if you drop like the high pass a little bit so it throws a little bit more bass, Man, it's gonna do double the trouble and it's gonna definitely like bring out that voice 
and still, you know, hear vocal out of it. But. that I will say guys I'll never get the bass frequency that's going on in my subwoofer back here with any you know like mid-range mid bass or whatever uh, and I feel like it lacks a lot of it and if we'd go ahead and add some bass to it you know it'd be loud look watch I go ahead and put those subs underneath the truck because that thing will actually wake it up back here because let me add a little bit of bass with the blow through so you can hear what I'm talking about that thing would just sound so killer if it had bass back there. Really, really good. People will be having like the thump. But I'm not a friend, I'm not a big fan of that thump, man. I like that. That bass sound, you hear it? You hear that bass sound? Oh yeah, I love that bass sound. Hear it now. You see? If we have that thumping sound back here, guys, man, I think it'd be crazy. Let me hear it. Don't turn it up too much. The neighbors are right there. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. That bass is just like really, really sweet with it. Let's wait for that note. Okay, let me turn on the bass. Okay. Just a little bit right here. Okay, and now we're back to just like the thumping bass, which is good and everything, but it doesn't like that bass, guys. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna like turn uh, the high pass up a little bit just so we don't push too much bass going through them. Now let's go ahead and shut those off and turn on the mids that are on the side, which is are the 610s, three and three. So those mids are sounding pretty good. Let's go ahead and get back to the song. And we're gonna test the 610s out. Just turn down the high pass just a little bit, a little bit. Oh yeah, it's way up. Let's turn to the right. Edge. For like 150. Okay, much better. Way much better. Okay. Those sound really, really good. And I don't think I need to mess with the tweeters because those I really don't got that much power. I think on the tweeters I only got like 600 watts. And on the horns, I think it's only like 400 watts, maybe three. But I think those are pretty good. And like I said, once again, I actually set the low pass on the crossovers to get a little bit more voice out of it. So let's actually go ahead and play everything together to see how it sounds, guys. Let's play this amp back in. So my PPI amp, man, that's that old school guy. Man, that thing will get hot, but well, it will not cut out, guys. I think it's only cut out on me one time from playing for like hours. Go ahead and bang this thing out and see how loud it is with everything. Press play it is on. Let's get it. Oh, yeah, I can already hear it. Let's give it a little bit of mid <laughs> Man, so your boy is gonna put this thing on the charger overnight. We're gonna get these batteries pumped up. Man, I think everything's ready to rock and roll. Surprisingly, nothing's blown out this thing. Big, big, big W for that. Base is working off the chain. Like I said, the front's gonna need no type of tuning, guys. Man, this thing is just loud in the front. I'm actually surprised sometimes. Uh, man, I always say like, man, this thing is so loud. And it is, guys, it definitely is. Very, very happy with the setup. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. 
man, do the badass little setup inside with the cab with like 8,000 watts on all the mids. Man, drop the Def Bond subs in there, put that 10K on it, alternator, run two aught to the back. Man, this thing will be jamming, man, but you let me know in the comments what do you think we should do. Like, concentrate on everything or just get that done for uh, the Made of Steel show so we can be out there giving demos for you guys. Man, I really, really want to give demos to everybody. And this year, man, this, we need this thing banging a lot harder than what we did last year, guys. Definitely, I think last year when we went to the Made of Steel, like two days later, that's when I went to Mexico and I took the truck, so I didn't want to hammer it because I needed my truck plane for Mexico. But this year, guys, man, I don't even care. We're going to jam out. If we blow stuff, we blow stuff out. But, man, we, we, we definitely got to put on a show for you guys, man. The blow through, man, I was pretending that the seat was there, but it's just so much sun. Look at this stuff. For Sunday, because we got a video dropping Sunday morning of us hitting up the block party. Stay tuned for that. Man, enjoy your Easter. We are going to do our Easter tomorrow, which is Saturday, because my sisters have stuff to do Sunday with their other family. So definitely stay tuned for that. Man, stay safe out there, get them eggs, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.